Hi, I'm Jordan Royburn, and I'm here at the Metals Investor Forum. It's May 2018, and we're here in downtown Vancouver, British Columbia. And I'm here with Brian Robertson, who's the president and CEO of Mexican Gold. And Brian, as we get started, why don't you tell the audience uh, the company's current share structure and valuation, which I think are pretty compelling. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, Mexican Gold has 41.8 million shares outstanding. Uh, current market price is between 35 and 40 cents, and that's a significant upward evaluation since last year. Last year, we were trading in the 15 cent range. Now, let's talk about a, a twofold question. Let's talk about um, the resource. I know that that's not current. You've done a lot of drilling. You've probably added ounces since the resource, but tell the audience the resource and then also some of the uh, drill results that you've reported since then. I mean, you've had a couple spectacular holes. Yeah, no, absolutely. The resource, and this was a maiden resource that we published in August of last year. That came in over a million gold equivalent ounces contained within 15 million tons of material, mineralized material. And the interesting part is that was pit constrained in the sense that it was modeled as an open pit scenario and the grade was two grams per ton gold equivalent. Now, if you look at most open pits, uh, either in North America or in Mexico, they're generally under one gram. So this was certainly very high grade for an open pit scenario. And recently, in August of last year, we drilled some very exciting holes. Discovery hole number 40, which was on a dike contact zone of mineralization, came in 38 million, 38 meters of 9.16 grams per ton gold equivalent. And we also drilled another hole, step out hole, 155 meters away, hole number 49. It again came in at 38 meters over 10 grams gold equivalent. Now that was very exciting news for Mexican gold because those grades are five times the grades of the resource. And uh, this Las Minas project in Mexico, by the way, Tell us about the upside, because I think this project, I mean, you, you, as you noted, you've had some great intercepts, but there is a lot more exploration potential that the market seems to be ignoring. Yeah, no, absolutely. We have looked at two of eight zones at Las Minas. The initial maiden resource is for two of those eight zones. Those two zones are still open for expansion. Uh, and recently, of course, expansion in terms of grade, as well as step out holes, we drilled a step out hole in our last round of drilling, 206 meters, so we expanded that resource uh, footprint. The initial resource foot footprint was 400 meters by 600 meters. We've expanded that up to 700 meters by 600 meters. So that's a 75% increase in the footprint of the resource. We have not done any serious exploration on the other six zones that we know of on that property. We have another concession that's south of us. We've done very limited work there. <clears throat> so one of our big problems really is we have a lot of areas to look at and uh, we're doing a lot of field exploration work to expand that resource. And we believe that that resource will eventually move to uh, increase of somewhere between three to five million gold equivalent ounces. And finally, um, can you tell us the company's objectives over the next six to 12 months? What will you be working on and what kind of news flow can the market look forward to? Certainly. Uh, we've just completed that 3,000 meter drill program. That expanded the resource at El Dorado Juan Brand Santa Cruz zone. We're putting all of that information together. We're rebuilding our geological model. That's all about identifying more areas to drill for step out and expanding that drilling. In addition to that, we're doing extensive field work on two other zones, the Santa Cruz or the Pueblo Nuevo zone and the Shingaro zone. Now the Pueblo Nuevo, we put out news releases on that, some very high grade sample results coming out of that. Shingaro, we're doing a lot of field work in Shingaro. That's to look at these other zones in more depth and also to identify drilling targets for those zones. Brian, thank you so much. Thank you. Pleasure.